if you're watching later, leave me a comment. If you're watching later, um, since you didn't get to comment on the live, you should leave me a comment right now because I would love that. I've been going back and reading all the comments from these, so if you're watching later, leave a comment. If you're watching now, go back and leave a comment because I'm reading all of them. So, hi everybody. Happy Mother's Day for me, still. It's probably over for some of you. Sorry, Mac, I am too. Ooh, that's not. <laughs> I can't find my regular chips chapstick. It's probably upstairs, but I don't have the energy to go up there. <laughs> Thank you, Darcy. You're so sweet. Um, today I'm in a lot of pain, so I wasn't expecting that, but my sister said that that happened to her on the tail end of her miscarriage, that it was really, really painful at the end. So I'm in a lot of pain and I'm really hot, having like hot flashes and I'm really, really dizzy, so. I just gave you a treat so that you would be quiet. No? No? Barry's mad. Hey, share. Hey. Yeah, there you go. That's funny. I was about to tell you something, but now it's not happening anymore. Okay, so what I did was, I know, I know Jenna, right? Such a blessing in disguise. Super tender mercy. Um, when I gave, so I gave them some treats, and whenever I give them treats, there's these little sticks. I don't know if you can see them. Here, hold on, they're going crazy already over them. How do I turn this around? There we go. So you see those things that are swinging that Coco is eating? So those are treat sticks, and they're their favorite. They're, they've got egg in them and honey and all kinds of goodness, um, and it's just their favorite, and I usually hang up two. There's one, see now they're both eating one can't see that. So anyway, when I very first put it in there, the two of them, Barry, who's the only boy, and Coco and Lemon are girls, Barry completely and totally, which this never happens, now he's not doing it, completely let them have it first. And that's never happened. And I just had like a tiny little moment where I was like, it's Mother's Day and you're letting the girls go first for once. But then he just got back in there, so never mind. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Happy Mother's Day to you too, my dear. Anyway, um, man. So I do have a public service announcement that we need to talk about because this, I am so pissed. I am not a person who gets really mad, I'll talk all about the miscarriage in a second, but I'm not a person that gets like mad to the point of making a complaint. I don't like complaining. Even if like they cook my steak wrong, I'm not the type that will be like, send it back and redo it or don't charge me for this because it was crap or whatever. I don't ever do that. But I am so mad about this that I want people to know, first of all, and also, You done? And also, I'm going to write in the company, and I don't do that, guys. Like, I don't do that. So, what happened was, oh no, what happened? Jeez, so many prayers needed. What happened to Daphne? What am I missing? Okay, I'll tell you that story later. Wait, what happened? Hold on, let me scroll back. Hold on a second. Give me a second. Where is it? Oh, Daphne. Yes, I'm already praying for Giddy, but I'll pray for your mom too, or your dad and her mom. I'm so sorry, babe. Um, and then Dee Dee, what happened? That's so scary, guys, what happened? I'd also like to ask for prayers for my friend's family because he passed 
the way a few hours ago. What happened to him, Dee Dee? I'm so sorry, babe. That's rough. How sad on Mother's Day. Daphne, is your dad gonna recover, do they think? Like, what, what state is he in right now? Thanks, Kayla. Is that how I say that? Kayla? Yeah, I made them moderators. Um, they know me really, 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 really well, and so they know, like, things that would upset me. So they're my moderators. Kayla, that's a pretty way to spell that. Are you going to be tighter? Just pack a little softer. You've been practicing. Remember? Yeah. Do I need to talk like this? Huh? No? <sighs> he had a heart attack? How old was he? Yeah, moderators are needed. And I was gonna switch it up. I need to be doing that. I was gonna switch it up and let, because I know a lot of people know, we, know me really well by now that could do it. But I was too lazy today to switch it. Wow. Yeah. My goodness. Well, my public service announcement sounds really stupid now. He was obese and was having a lot of problems. He was 20. <gasps> I turned the air way too low. I'll be right back. I need to turn that on. Off. Hold on. I don't have pants on. I'd love to be moderator at some point. I would love you to. Here, I'll make you one right now. I think I can. Yes, I can. There you go, Dars. Um, okay. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm just gonna be really, really <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dee Dee. Thanks for asking, Kiwi. I'm really not in good shape today, but... So today, I would say last night was when... Like, the sadness of it started to hit, and today, it's just really physically hard today. Like, really, really bad. Um, like, my niece came and picked me... had to come pick me up because I couldn't drive. And she had to carry my, the gift that I got for my mom for Mother's Day. She had to carry that even though it was not even heavy at all. Like I was in so much pain earlier when she came to pick me up. Right now I'm starting to get in pain again, but it did, I, I took some medication and it helped a little bit so I could get through dinner and stuff. Um, but the other thing right now that I'm having today is like severe pain in my stomach, my the left side of my lower stomach and my back and just really bad dizziness and fainting and then hot flashes. And t this morning when I woke up, I was white as a ghost. I'm still pretty white today. Um, so am I ready to talk about the miscarriage or what? About what? Thanks, Lemon. I can't wait to talk to my counselor about how people told me not to tell my close friends he almost raped me. How am I not supposed to want to warn them? Are you serious? Stupid. Please, I'm so, like, I'm proud of you for telling your counselor. That is absolutely the right thing to do, and I'm proud of you, Cassandra, for that. Yeah, I think I'm, I think, well, I still haven't, like, blo broken down all the way crying. <laughs> but, um, I'm so sorry that happened. Not okay. Should you get a DNC soon? Yes, because... Uh, well, I've been needing one of those forever, as we all know. Um, 
for my endometriosis and it wouldn't hurt to just, yeah, I'm getting there, Dee Dee. I know, it's been a rough month for a lot of people. Let me get my PSA out of the way for those watching later, because I do, I am so pissed about this. Like, I'm so mad. And then we'll talk all about the miscarriage. You can ask me whatever you want. And who knows, maybe I'll cry, maybe not. I don't know when it will come out. Okay, so if you're ever on Instagram feed, you know how they'll like try and sell you stuff? Like, they'll be like, swipe up to buy this awesome present for Mother's Day for your mother. So I've been looking at these for, I wish I could like, hold on, where's the other one? Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to find one of the boxes that isn't mangled. So you might have seen these in your feed. They're the crystal uh, rose, glass rose, the crystal roses that have like 24 karat gold painted on the stem. Um, tell me if you've seen these. I've been looking at them and admiring them for forever. They're so pretty in the commercial, like they're these beautiful glass roses that are like super galaxy looking. They're really, really pretty. So I ordered four of them and they were $25 each. I spent $100 on these. And the boxes came like this. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. Smashed, completely smashed and bent and like. So that was the first thing. Second thing, they didn't come until today, like right before I was about to leave the house. Like if I had left 10 minutes sooner, they wouldn't have come in time for Mother's Day. So they came on Mother's Day, but I ordered them, I'm not kidding you, eight weeks ago at least. So that sucks. Um, so then I opened them. <laughs> These are the roses, guys. Um, I don't know if you can see. This is literally like plastic, the thinnest, nothing, and it was all smashed. One of them was broken. I wish you could feel this. It's like light as a feather because it's completely plastic. They say it's 24 karat gold, but the, you can see the, the, like the seams of the, like it's clearly just wrapped in fake plastic, cheap plastic, plastic. So they look cool. I mean, they do look pretty. This is what it looked like, but like they don't, they're quality wise. Like I cannot believe that I spent $25 on a plastic, something I could buy at the dollar store easily. Um, like the most disgusting, I'm so pissed. And that only two of them were intact. This is one of the smashed ones. There's another one where the entire stem was broken in half. I can't find it. So I gave the one good one to my mom and one good one to my sister. But I'm so pissed, like they were supposed to come in a, in a really gorgeous box like this and you could open it and see like silk inside to hold and this is how the boxes came, like completely smashed. And by the way, I'm very hormonal right now so maybe that's why I'm so pissed about this. Also, like look at this, this is one of the leaves. It's like that stuff, it's like cellophane that you can buy at the craft store that's like completely see-through and nothing, like just paper. So then I looked them up on Amazon after I ordered them and Amazon had them for $9. And I was like, oh, I should have looked on Amazon. But then I was like, no, these ones are probably more special. They're probably a little bit bigger. They're probably better quality. And then they come like this today, 10 minutes before I had to leave for Mother's Day. And this is what I got my mother for Mother's Day. So luckily I'd gotten her some other little things too, but oh, it was annoying. So don't buy anything in the Instagram feed. I've always, um, well, actually since I found the cheaper ones on Amazon about a week ago, I was looking at them and I was like, oh, I should have bought them. Ever since I did that, I've been 
anything you see that they're trying to sell you on Instagram, just click on it, find out what it's called and type it into Amazon and Amazon will have it and it will be cheaper and it will get there faster and it will be better quality guaranteed. So that's my public service announcement for the day. I'm very pissed about this. Like I plan to actually say something and I don't do that. Like I am, I hate confrontation. I hate making anybody feel bad, but it's like, this is unbelievable to me. Like unreal that it, I did not do this. Like this is how they came. And then I spent $25 each, $100 on paper, plastic roses. So if you see those, they look gorgeous. They do look pretty, but don't spend $25. Go at least spend the $9, but even that, that's not worth it. So, I mean, it's still pretty, but like, it's, oh, I'm gonna be so mad. I was so mad. I was expecting this like crystal, and they even came wrapped in bubble wrap and everything. So I'm like, oh my gosh, they came there on time. But then I took off the bubble wrap and all of the boxes were smashed. Open it, there was nothing crystal about it. These are lit, look like things are falling off of it. Like this is, Look, that leaf just fell off. Oh, where'd that leaf go? Who knows? So, um, I don't know, I'm gonna find out. <sighs> so anyway, okay, now I'm done with that. <laughs> I had to get that off my chest, because I was so mad, <laughs> so mad. Because this was like the main gift that I got my mother, like, and she doesn't care about gifts, but like, I just was so excited about it. I had been wanting one, I bought myself one. I bought one for me, my, uh, mom, Danny's mom, and my our grandma, the only grandma that we have left living. Um, but she didn't, grandma didn't come tonight and my sister was there, so I just gave it to my sister instead and I didn't go see Danny's mom. But I don't think Danny's mom would actually even like this. So we got her something else anyway. So, but anyway, so don't order it if you see it, it's not good. Oh, I will take photos for sure. <laughs> How was your mother's day besides what you got her? It was really fun. Um, I went up to my sister's house, her new house that she had just, just built. They just moved in a couple months ago, I think. Maybe not even that, like a month ago maybe. Um, and they had a really nice dinner. She made salmon and baked potatoes, loaded baked potatoes. It was really good. She made some dessert that I couldn't eat. I was too full from dinner, so I brought it home, which is like a cinnamon crumb caramel cake type of a thing that you eat with vanilla ice cream and caramel sauce. Um, and we just talked and my mom had to leave at six because she and my dad, my stepdad are flying out right now. They're getting on a plane to fly to California for a quick business trip. And my mom has to go because my, my dad is so, um, in really, really bad shape. My stepdad is getting surgery on Friday that's life-threatening and very possible he could be paralyzed or something worse could happen. So I've already asked for prayers from you guys, but I will ask again and again and again because we're all very nervous about it. So um, yeah, so anyway, so they had to leave early. So that's why I'm home by the time that I am home. Oh, that sucks, Cassandra. Crohn's is awful, I hear. They thought I had Crohn's, but they said it was IBS, not Crohn's. Crohn's is way worse than IBS. Hi, Kayla. Thanks for your text. I never text you back. I'm the best friend in the world. You're so sweet. I'm so dizzy, oh my gosh. I don't know how long I'll last, by the way. <laughs> I really don't. Um, maybe I'll go sit on the couch, actually. My period video? What video is that? Did I make a period video? I'm sorry, Lemon, are you okay? Mentally, obviously, and I'm sorry for that. The recent one? Oh, with Shelton, oh yeah. That's the best video on the internet. Just kidding. Yeah, my spirits are better. It's my physicals that are not better today. <laughs> my physical, I want to die, but it's part of it. Uh, has anyone here ever had a miscarriage? Beth, have you? I want to know because my sister was telling me. So I told my sister last night. She freaked out because um, she... Whoa, hold on. Oh, I'm going to pass out. Oh, dear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, she...
she, yeah, I know. I mean, um, she miscarried twins, my sister, uh, and I actually didn't know that. She told me that. I knew she'd miscarried, but I didn't know it was twins. And she said that her, all of her tests, not only, um, the one she took at home, but the one at the doctor's, all of them came back negative, the pregnancy tests. So she, and, but then right before she miscarried, they did one and it was positive. And I told her that's what happened to me too. Um, and I guess she passed one of the babies and the other one, they had to go in and get it. Cause it was like, she can't remember cause it was so long ago, but she said it was like a tubal something, whatever. No, but my kids, my kids' grandmother had an ectopic. That's what Michelle had. Pregnancy and almost died, and she was told she would never have kids. She had three. <gasps> That's so cool. So after, is ectopic the one where ectopic? Am I saying that right? Ectop ectopic. Um, is that the one that's like? Oh my gosh, I'm dizzy. Hold on. Some blood in my head. Um, ectopic. I thought it was eptopic, not ectopic. So anyway, they had to go. They had to do surgery to go in to get the other twin in the fallopian tubes. That sounds right, Kayla. That sounds like what my sister did. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry you went through that. But it was the same for her, like she didn't know she was pregnant. They weren't trying, they weren't planning. Cause she also had severe endometriosis like me. And so she also was told she couldn't have kids. So they weren't prepared for it yet. And so it wasn't planned at all. And then she lost both of them. The egg got fertilized in the tube so it would have burst. <gasps> I think it did burst. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Oh, I'm glad your boyfriend was amazing, though. The egg is fertilized in the fallopian tube. It's not viable and very dangerous. That's what it sounds like she had. That's scary. I am... Thanks, Kiwi. I'm just physically not doing great today. And emotionally, I'm starting to get there. I'm starting to get sad. But today, spending the day with like my mom and sisters who were just so excited and happy that I could even get pregnant. Like, this is big news in our family. This is a big deal for my family. Um, so, like, my spirits are pretty good right now. I love you, Dee Dee. I'm... I'm positive guys just it will come out and if Danny's not home I will go live because that's what I do I went to my ER for pain and found out oh that would be hard to find out in the ER thank goodness he forced me to get looked at big hugs to everyone oh my goodness did you ever get pregnant again Jessica Yeah, happy and sad, yeah. Yeah, I know, it's such a bittersweet thing. I'm not sure how to deal with it. I'm just feeling it as it goes. It's very bizarre, very weird. Yeah. Thanks, Dee. I don't like calling people, Kayla. But of course I would call you. Um, any advice for my first doctor's appointment? Yeah, talking about my mental health. Yay, for the first time with a professional. Good for you, I'm so proud of you, Kate. You know what, how old are you, babe? Will your mom be with you? Will you be alone in the room? How old are you? Tell me that and then I'll give you advice depending on what your situation is. I relapsed hardcore and now just not ready. That's okay. Take your time. 
yeah, a sign of hope for the future, exactly. I've never seen my mom so excited in my life. Danny is so busy that he's, I don't think he's processed it yet at all. I really don't. Like, he doesn't want to talk about it every time I try and talk to him about it. On the phone, either we get a bad, bad signal for real or he'll be like, okay, I got to go. Like, I don't know. I don't know how he feels because we haven't gotten to talk much because all he can do is FaceTime me and he can only do that if he's at the hotel and even then it's spotty. Um, so he's kind of, we kind of said last night that we would talk about it more when he got home and kind of grieve together when he got home. Um, so that part is like hard that I'm having to do this without him, but at the same time, it's been a huge growth experience for me to, because I don't have a choice. And so that's cool. Um, I'm 18 and I think my friend will come with me to support me. <sighs> I've been relapsing with my anorexia this week. So just be honest with the doctor. Is it a boy or a girl? Guy or a, is, it a, is it a man or a woman? Doctor, Kate. I'm scared of my family finding out. Yeah, I think like he might even be grieving and I don't know it. I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm like hoping for. Like I'm trying to um I've I've I'm trying to hold out till he gets home before I really like break down about it. But I'm just saying that in the meantime if I do, I've got amazing family, amazing friends, you guys like I'm really lucky the position that I'm in. No clue, GP system in England. So just just be honest. I mean you can't hear me? What music? Are you high? What's happening? There's no music happening, Dee Dee. I can't really hear you because the music is loud, but I, I love you. What music? Where are you? Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, just like, just be honest. I know it's scary, but... The more honest you are, the better they can help you. <sighs> they might even be able to help you, like, figure out a way that you could tell your family that you feel safer doing. Oh, it's in your ear. Okay, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. I just miscarried last week. I'm so sorry, Emily. And I woke up this morning to a boat, boat, boutique of flowers. Is that what it's called? Bouquet, isn't it? Anyway, bouquet of white roses, boutique of white roses. Maybe I don't know things. Me and my husband never cried and grieved a lot through this Mother's Me and my husband have cried and grieved a lot through this Mother's Day. I'm sorry you're doing this alone. Thanks, Emily, and I'm sorry for you too. Danny and I, because um, when every time we lost a bird... I know it sounds silly, but it was so bonding because we cried together, we grieved together, and it brought us closer together. Like, it's funny how pain is what brings people closer together. Like, that's, like, life, in my opinion. Like, that's what trials, one of the main reasons that trials are for is to bring people together so that we have to rely on each other, we have to bond with each other, and we have to ask for help. Yeah, they are our babies. Cockatiels are cute. <sighs> 30 minutes. I don't know, maybe ask me a question. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, like... Oh, 
don't even know. Tell us your THP. What does THP mean? Try harder, please. Don't tell me to try harder. Thoughts? That's what THP means? That makes no sense to me. I don't know the lingo. I'm so old. What does THP mean? Thoughts on the James Charles? I would love to talk about that. Actually, I don't know enough yet because I wanted to watch some more because we started talking about it last night and I'm just... Here's my thing. This is going to be such an unpopular opinion, so you can hate me if you want. Um, was I Beth? Oh, whoops. Um, okay, here's what I will say. <clears throat> oh, it was a typo, not an acronym. Uh, acronym. Okay, I was like, I'm old. Social media is my job. Like, I should know that, but I don't. So, anyway, um, okay. <laughs> I think that we do know that it's all true because he owned up to it, right? He fessed up and he apologized. Great. Um, I think it's horrendous that he did that, uh, the things that he did. At the same time, my little heart, of course, is like, okay, this boy, how old is he? 19? 19, 20? How old is he? I think, I don't know. Um, I, like, it sucks what he did, and that girl should absolutely stick to her guns and move on with her life. Um, can't blame her for that, you know? He's 19. So, but it's like, this is very extreme, I know, but it's like, think of your, the worst thing you've ever done, or like, the worst mistake you ever made as a teenager, or maybe not even a teenager, just any time in your life, like your very worst moment in your entire life, and imagine that being seen by millions and millions and millions of people. Um, he was predatory to a man, though. Like, he forced him to kiss him. I haven't heard that. Is that true? Here's what I've heard, so tell me if it's different. I've heard that he... Took advantage of the lady that helped get him famous and the lady that made a video about him. I didn't even know who he was or who she was until all of this. Um, and then he kind of betrayed her because he was like putting on like supporting her competition company or something like that. And then I love Footless Joe. I just started watching her. She's awesome. And then... Um, and then I heard that she, I just heard what she told me. So in her video, I didn't listen to the whole thing, so maybe that's why. But she was saying that he would, um, he would like look at a boy and even if the boy was straight, he would be like, oh, I'm going to hit, hit that. And she'd be like, yeah, but he's straight. He'd be like, it doesn't matter. I'm famous. That's all I know. Like I didn't know Tati, yes. But like I didn't know that he was like forcing himself on anyone. Is that true? Did he own up to that? Because I know he owned up to what he did. I just, look, again, like, this is such an unpopular opinion, I know. But the things that we do know facts about, and maybe I'm wrong, has he apologized for that? Because that wasn't in his video, so we don't know if that's true or not. That could be a rumor. What What's in his video that he owned up to and apologized for was flirting and expecting and saying stupid things like oh it doesn't matter if he's straight because I'm famous and I'll turn him gay for me or whatever that's just teenage stupidness that's just ignorance that's just he's a teenager it's stupid um I don't find that to be dangerous at all but it's like obviously it's different if he's a predator and like forcing stuff but we don't know if that's true so my thing is, like, I just feel bad. Like, if your biggest mistake in the entire world, in your entire life, was on blast for millions of people to see, especially when you're that young, um, I was telling their DMs, the guy was flirting back but kept changing his mind. I know, but that's, that's not, that's not, um, 
that's not abuse, though. That's just them flirting. Like, we have no proof that he forces men to do it with him or whatever. Like, where's that proof, you know? So I just feel, I just feel bad for that part. I'm super disappointed in him for all that I've heard that he has owned up to. Like, I'm so disappointed, and I think that money and fame ruin a lot of people, especially when they're young. The same thing happened to Justin Bieber. He was the sweetest boy when he started. I know everyone made fun of him. I was in love with him. I thought he was sweet. I thought he was talented. And fame and money ruined him. He got into drugs and sex and too much sex and all the things, and that's all. So, um, read the texts. Are there texts saying that he forced himself on someone? Or that he forced someone to do something? Because that's different. It's different. Flirting is different than actually forcing it, you know? So I just, um, I don't, I just think it's stupid what he did. He's an idiot. Like, um, but it's also like he is 19 years old. Like, I have made mistakes that I will never tell you guys about because I'm too embarrassed. And if I told you, you might change your mind about me. I'm dead serious. Some of you might not want to follow me anymore if you knew something about me that I did. So it's like we've all made really, really big, and Danny too. Danny did something to me that I'll never tell you guys that is like, it, would, it might make some of you change your mind about him. But it's like, you know, you know that I'm a good person. You know Danny's a good person. And I think James Charles is a good person. I do. I just think he's young. He has too much money, too much fame. It's gone to his head. And he's making a lot of mistakes. And someday he's going to mature. And he's going to get to that age of accountability. And there's like an actual study. This is why I try and help young people out there with eating disorders. Because there's an actual study that your brain can't fully comprehend consequences until you're a certain age. Usually above 21 is what it is. So that's why teenage years are so crucial for kids. So crucial. Because whatever starts happening in those years is what can is will be a learned behavior. And they won't be able to see total consequence yet, if that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, he's a kid. And I know it sucks what he did. I'm not I'm not like condoning it. I'm just saying calm down. Like he's not he's 19 years old unless he's like raping someone and we don't know if that's true, right? I need to get some water. Oh. He's not a good person. I'm sorry, Shani, but you're being way too passive with this. LOL. James knows what he is doing. It's very obvious. He's had the conversation and YouTube with Shane and Ryland. Uh, ugh. Well, that's okay. We can agree to disagree. No big deal. Um, I don't know. I just hope the best for him because I never like... I do have a bad habit of that, trying to see the best in people, but... I don't know. If he were, I'm not kidding, it would change my opinion greatly if he were like 30 years old, 30s, 40s, and it still changes my opinion of him. I'm not a big fan anymore, honestly, because I think he's very lost, and, and if the things that he did own up to that I know are true because he owned up to them, like, I'm good. I don't need to, I don't want to support you if you're going to act like that, so yeah, I unsubbed, and I'm not going to support you if you act like that. But I'm not going to, like, write him off forever. <sighs> yeah, he's a dumb kid, and I was a dumb kid, too. We've all done dumb things, and he's he's absolutely 1,000% being an idiot. So, But who hasn't done that in their life? Who are you talking to, Beth? Is something happening? If you're feeling... Is someone... Feeling like suicide, suicidal. Honest beef, but the stuff with the guy, I think it was blown up. I agree. I hate to say that. The guy admitted he was flirting, but then kept changing his mind. I think he's just confused. I agree. 
so much, Karina. And the thing is, is like, I also agree with Tati that she um, absolutely should have made that video for her own sake, for her own life, for her own brand, for her own family, for everything. Like, I would be pissed if I was her too. Like, I would absolutely write him off if I were her. But we're not her. So like, he brought something different to me. I like watching his videos because he's very entertaining and he does great makeup and I love watching it and I think he's really really pretty and I think that he's fun to watch that's it you know like he's never hurt me before I just think he's I don't know and I've done that too flirted with a guy even though I'm I'm gay not sure why you're gay oh even though I'm not gay I was like oh I didn't know you're gay is that's okay if you were I just didn't know that so mm. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people flirt, and I don't know. Maybe he is confused. Maybe, I don't know. I just, I just think that it's being, like, too, okay. Like, I can see, honestly, like, when Logan Paul showed the hanging man, when Logan Paul showed the hanging man in the forest of a man that had committed suicide, that blew up too, right? And his reputation was ruined. And But he didn't lose subscribers, not many. And he was number one on trending all the time. Um, so this time, I don't know what... Is it trending right now? It probably is, actually. I haven't checked. Um, and, like, that's that's something that's, like, that's not okay. That is not... That's not something I can support because that's extremely dark to do something like that. Like, that's beyond stupid. And plus, Logan Paul was older. Much older. Old enough to know what he was doing. Um, like, that was ridiculous. That would warrant people being like, I am unsubscribing. I'm not supporting this person. This person is garbage. This person is trash. Blah, 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 blah. That's, that's how I feel about it. Um, but with James Charles, it's like, that sucks. Like, he broke the trust of this wonderful woman. And that sucks. And she has every right to be upset. And he flirted with a bunch of boys and he got really cocky about it and really arrogant that I'm rich and famous and so I can turn any boy straight if I want to. Blah, blah, blah. Like that's just childish stuff. Like that's not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is part of human nature to flirt. I don't know. I just, I don't feel like, I feel like it's being blown up that he's, like this monster, this horrible monster, and I just think he's stupid. <laughs> That's all it is. But so was I at his age, and I'm sure a lot of you were at his age, and some of you might be his age and that stupid, and you don't realize it because you're a teenager. But later, when he's an adult, he'll look back. And I didn't know it at the time when I, that I was that stupid until I got older and more mature and then looked back, and I was like, wow, I did stupid, stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. Me too. Well, I'm technically still subscribed, but I'll probably unsubscribe. Maybe I won't. I told people I would, but now I'm like, eh. I just don't care. I don't know. I don't know. I think, honestly, like, I don't know Tati at all. This is the first time I've ever even heard of her. Because I don't know much about the beauty community. I don't watch anybody other, any other beauty people except who do I watch that's a beauty community person? James Charles. But I don't even watch them all. It's only if it's like something interesting like when he did the makeup on his arm or like when he does a, an interesting challenge then I'll watch. But like if it's just, there's another girl. What is her name? I don't even know her name. Sarah something. Sarah K. She's really good. Love her. And she actually left a comment one time on one of my videos. And she's got over a million subscribers. So I was like, oh my goodness. And she was asking a, video, a question about eating disorders. And I told her she could message me, but she never did. Um, but that's okay, because I don't check anyway. <laughs> but anyway, um, there's someone else I feel like I watch all the time. I used to watch... Um, what is her name? And now she's like, uh, she's really, um, 
She's a really, she's a big girl, really big girl. Ooh, starts with an L. She has red hair now. Lo, Lo, Lana, Lola. She used to only do makeup and fashion and now she does like ghost stories. Actually, I don't even know what she does now because I kind of stopped following her. I don't know. Anyway, I don't watch many enough to like care. I'm proud of you for calling Hinky Baukajibonema. I'm proud of you for calling. That's that's good girl. I'm very, very proud of you. We love you. Go get help, okay? It's not Laura Lee. Who is it? Does anyone know who I'm talking about? Lois? Lola? Lola? Le Lena? Lana. Dang it! I'm going to look it up. Hold on. Now it's going to bother me. No, not Lana Del Rey. I don't know what it's called. This is going to bother me now. Um... I wonder if I'm still subscribed to her. How do I do that? Does anyone know who I'm talking about? Loey, that's what it is. Loey Lane. There it is. Thank you. It's oh, driving me nuts. Thank you, Kylie. Loey Lane is another one that I used to watch all the time, but then she stopped. She didn't do any makeup. She started doing like the ghost story stuff, and I don't like, I'm not into that stuff. So, anyway, but yeah, she's really good. Loey Lane. She used to be married too. Does anyone know why she got divorced? Anyway, so I look a bit out of it. I'm just really, really weak. Keep in mind, not only am I going through miscarriage, but I also have to get a blood transfusion on Monday. Yes. Please message each, each other, guys. That's what this community is for. Message each other. Give each other your Instagram. How do blood transfusions work? So they go and they hook me up to an IV and they it takes about four hours for the amount that I usually need or that I needed last time. I've only done it once, actually. I've done a, an iron transfusion and a blood and they just like set you up with an IV and like the IV bags, except it's blood instead of fluid and just let it leak in you for four hours. It's really boring. Burrito and an apple, yum. You should put slices of your apple in the burrito. I'm not kidding. I like adding sweet to saltiness. How are you feeling about the miscarriage? I hope that's not too much to ask. No, it's not at all. You can ask me whatever you guys want. 
um, cause I don't know how to, <laughs> it sounds like it would be good. Am I having a craving? Do you get craving with miscarriages? Who knows? Um, I don't know how I'm feeling. So like I, so far I'm feeling really happy and excited that I could even get pregnant. Like I've never ever in 15 years seen a positive pregnancy test. So that was very exciting for me. Um, and a little bit of sadness, but not a lot has hit me yet, but it's getting there. And also just really hopeful and really this taught me a lot as well. Um, yeah, like at least I can get pregnant. Like that's never happened. And after being told that I couldn't, like honestly, I, this is something I just thought of today, guys. The next time I speak, the next time I do public speaking like at a high school, I get to say now that I was told that I had a 1% kids of having chance of having kids but then I got pregnant and like use it as like a hopeful thing for the kids again. So that's another positive. There's a lot of positive that has come out of this. And a lot of, yeah. I was in shock too, sort of. I kind of knew what was happening, but there wasn't proof of it. Like I, I, I told you guys, like I told, it was either on here or on Instagram. I was talking about how I, thought I might be having a miscarriage because this bleeding and pain and gushing and stuff was different than my normal periods but the test I took said negative and then Thursday night I just randomly came across a pregnancy test and so I decided to take it knowing I had a doctor's appointment the next day so I did and that's when it was positive and that's when I was shook like I literally wasn't even I really wish I would have like filmed myself because I would be curious to see what it looked like because I will tell you that it made me really mad. It was that horrible. Like it was exciting, but it made me mad uh, to see that. I was like, wait, is this real? And then I'm like, mad. And I don't know why. Wait, why would I be mad? Why did that just come up? What's happening? What's happening? Why was I mad? But like, I don't, I didn't, like when I was watching the test, I didn't scream, I didn't laugh, I didn't cry. I just felt like, no, I'm not pregnant anymore. I was, I had a miscarriage. Maybe you're mad that they kept saying you couldn't have a baby. Maybe. Maybe. And that, like, I had wasted all these years thinking that I couldn't, so why try? That could be part of it, Cody. Grieving. I don't, I don't know if it was a shock. It was like, oh, I knew it. Maybe that's why I was mad, because I was like, I knew it. Like, I knew it this whole time, but no one believed me. And by no one, I mean my husband didn't believe me. Cause, and I can't blame him because, like, he's the type that doesn't like to get his hopes up about something like that, especially something like that in our situation. Um, that's a big deal for him and myself. Like, that is a huge deal. Like, we've got a very interesting, unique story and... My story is very unique compared to a lot of other women in our lives. Um, so that's just something that we take very seriously. And so, um, what was my point? Crap. It would make sense you got mad. They just talked about doing a hysterectomy. If you had, you'd never have the chance to have it. That's true. I haven't connected the dots there, but that is true. Because that's, a, that's something I've been saying over and over what if I had gone through the hysterectomy? What if this was the reason that I kept putting it off? What if, because you guys know, like after he was like, hey, you need to go see the oncologist and get a, possibly get a total hysterectomy. Um, it made me really shut down and I just hid from the doctor. And had I not done that, had I gone and gotten it done, 
I would have never gotten pregnant. Like who, like, I don't know. You get mad because they wanted to take all your baby making stuff out. Yeah, I didn't connect those. That's very true, you guys. I don't know how to feel. I'm just all over the place. Um, maybe because you had in the back of your mind that you had miscarried and then a positive test made you angry because you kind of thought you had already lost it. That feels familiar, Sarah. Sarah might have just hit something. That feels very, yes, yes. So you had already known you were having miscarried because I did, right? I was talking about it all week. People were like, but did you have a positive pregnancy test? And I was like, no. They're like, oh, then it probably wasn't. But I was like, no, I'm telling you, something feels weird. And then it was finally confirmed right before. It hurts when it feels like people have given up on you. That's true. Just know we love you and everything will be okay. Thank you, Tiff. If you do that, you get sudden, full-on menopause. If you do what? Thanks, Carrie. You believed me, Tiff? Thank you. Hey, I probably don't... I, I know you probably don't remember me, but you came to my school for an assembly... Um, and I came down and gave you a hug. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, are you the blonde girl that hugged me? You're freaking adorable. Wait, are you or are you the other one? Wait, there were a couple of you. There were quite a few of you, actually. Tell me what you look like. I'm better remembering faces. So, like, what, is, what was your hair? Were you wearing a dress? Uh, I don't think so, Karina, but today I, it tasted so good to drink the, my sister had sparkling white grape soda, and I don't like sparkling anything, I don't like carbonation, but it tasted so good that I drank so much of it, which is very strange for me. I was the one with black hair and a weird necklace. Okay... There were so many. Tell me something you said to me. What did you tell me? Did you tell me anything about yourself? You have the worst memory in the world. Craving ice as a sign? That's interesting. I've been chewing a lot of ice lately. Like wanting and needing to chew it. Um, I'm okay. I know. I was crying and I just thanked you. And you're a girl, you're not the boy that was crying? There was a boy that was crying. Shut up, D. Thanks, Tiff. Did you tell me your name was Vivian? I feel like I would remember that name. Were you in my video at all? Do you remember? I'm a girl, but you probably saw me as a boy and will do. Are you the one that didn't say anything to me and came up and cried and hugged me? And I hugged you and you were shaking and crying? Because if that's you, I've been looking for you. That's you? I've been looking for you. Wait, is that you? And you literally said nothing. You didn't even say thank you. You didn't say hi. You just came up to me, tears in your eyes. I've told this story. Ask these people. I've told it over and over. Like that impacted me greatly because it was like we had... A conversation together 
without even speaking. You remember? I've been looking for you. Is this the same? Are you the same one? And you were in, you were in my video. Do you want me to show you who I'm thinking of and you can tell me if it's you? I probably tried to say thanks but was crying too hard. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold the phone. Because I've been looking for you, my dear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. and then I was trying to jump in and then I came with the next one. So I expect many more tries. Don't be afraid to ask your school counselor. And you guys can talk to them. Is that you? Right there? That's you? You're kidding me! I'm so happy! Oh my gosh, are you kidding? No, this makes me so happy! Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad! <gasps> I have been looking for you. I've talked to you. I've told my whole family about you. I've told friends. I've told Instagram Live. My dear, I am so happy you're here. Sorry, that just made my whole day. I'm sorry I thought you were a boy. <laughs> I'm so rude. Why do most people think you're a boy? You're... For the record, I thought you were a very pretty looking boy. Oh my goodness. Not that it matters, right? That's so cool. No, you had a huge impact on me. I'm not kidding. Because, no, you did not say one word to me. But somehow, you were there. You're the only other person besides me that knows that we had a very, very um, touching conversation without saying a word. Because you came up to me. I could tell you were nervous. You were shaking. You were crying. And you just kind of looked at me and I just embraced you and hugged you and held you and you started crying more and shaking. And then um, after we let go, I think I said something to you like hang in there or you're beautiful or you can do this or whatever. Um, and you just looked at me in like tears in your eyes just being like as if you were like, thank you. And then just walked away. You never said the words thank you. Um, I'm sure I told, I'm sure I told her I loved her. That's, I called you beautiful. Well, you are beautiful. Vivian, I had to, I'm sorry, this like caught me off guard. I'm just like, who, who did I talk, the only dark haired person? Oh my gosh. You're special. I hope you know that. Yes, I remember you just a little. Hardly at all. <laughs> I don't go talking about you. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well, this was our first assembly that we've done, like high school assembly. We're trying to do more. We want to start doing more. I want to meet you too. Oh my gosh, Vivian. That's your name is Vivian. That's so pretty. You had a huge impact on me, babe. You have no idea. 
ask anybody here. How many times have I told this story, guys? Like, that's crazy. I'm so glad you found me. Yay! Because I've been looking for you because one of the other, one of your peers that was there that day, one of your classmates that was there, came on my Instagram live one night and I showed her that part with you in it. And, he, and I was like, do you know this person? She was like, no, I, I don't know who that is. And I'm like, okay, well, if, if, if you ever find him, if you know anybody that knows him or her, sorry, um, let me know. Let me know who she is because I need, I need to talk to her. That's amazing. Wow. That's wonderful. Well, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you found me. Are you following me on Instagram? You need to come watch my lives every night and everything. That's crazy. How cool is the internet? I'm really shy and keep to myself, so I'm not surprised she doesn't know me. Well, that's the that's the thing. Okay, so this is what caught me, Vivian, about you, because obviously I remembered you. And then when I was editing the video and I got to that part where you were clearly in it right there and you were sitting all alone, like no one was sitting by you. Why was nobody sitting by you? That's not okay. You deserve friends. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. And whatever it is that you're going through, I guarantee not only am I here for you, but so many people are. And you touched my heart in a way that nobody else did that day. And I had dozens of kids come up and talk to me. And you really, really touched me. Like, I remembered you forever. Um, wow. Sorry, I'm just like, you're special. And you are beautiful. And you will get through whatever it is that you're going through. And you're not alone. I'm here for you. These people are here for you. Our community is amazing. If you have Instagram, you should join my lives every night. I do live stream every night. Right now I'm going live on here every night. But usually I go live every night on Instagram because it's more intimate there. But anyone's welcome. Just come and follow me and get to know the community. You don't have to talk much if you don't want. Do it as you get comfortable. I know you're super shy and um, just, yeah, if you, if you need friends, if you need anything, oh, I'm just so happy. My heart is like exploding right now. You don't have Instagram. Get one. <laughs> of course I remember you. Like it goes beyond remembering you. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Like, I'm going to call my mom and tell her this. That's, like, I told my mom about you and said, I wish I could know who that was. Because she really impacted me. Like, that was huge. Aw, you're the cutest. You subbed to her? Does she have a channel? Like, an active channel? Wait, do you have a channel, Vivian? Or did you just sub because you have to have a channel to comment? Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. You're so sweet, I'm so happy. Sorry, this is like, I'm just like so happy right now. You don't have a channel, okay, never mind. but still. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm blown away. I'm probably more nervous right now than you are. Believe it or not, you had a very big impact on me, so thank you. <sighs> Crazy. The internet is a really special place. Like, it's a super evil place, and it's also a super special place. Like... what it does, people that, like, I wouldn't know any of you. Can you imagine, like, all of these friends that I've made and I cannot imagine not having you guys in my life. Like, if I think about that, it kind of blows my mind. That's crazy. It's 
super evil and special. Yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of evil on the internet, but there's also so much beauty, and it just literally just brings people together and helps people. And if you do it right, the internet is a great place. Would I ever do a TED Talk? What is a TED Talk? I'm actually not sure what that is. Can someone explain it? I know I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Oh, that's sweet, Tiffany. I know you don't have an active channel, but I still wanted to sub to you. Shani's one of my best friends, and you really touched her, and the story touched me too. I love you, Tiff. Tiffany, you're the best. TED Talks are long and inspirational. What are they? What is it? Where, is, where does it happen? Is it a show? Is it a podcast? Like what? I'm sorry, Karina. I'll pray for you, babe. You too, Cassandra. They're on YouTube. It's an app. I'm so lost. I don't understand what it is. It's like a live it's like a live audience and it's recorded. What's a live audience? Someone explain the entire thing. Like the setting. TED Talks are organized events. TED TEDx is an independent event. What event? What do you mean? On the internet? TED Talk is where these really amazing people who have been through things and they give these amazing inspirational talks. And where does it happen? Is this a YouTube thing? Watched a few in my class online. I'm not sure, but look it up on YouTube. You might be able to reach them there. I totally would do it. Absolutely. People get up and talk about something for like 10 to 30 minutes. They're inspirational. They happen all over. You can watch on YouTube. Oh, I would totally do that. Absolutely. I would love to do something like that. The TED Talk is a live show in front of people. Okay. I think students who want to learn about stuff and it's recorded. So people watch them. Okay. So it's something that happens in real life, but they record it and put it on the internet for people to watch. Okay, that makes sense. You download it. Okay. I would totally do that. Absolutely. If they asked me, I would do it. That's cute, Tiffany. Ugh. Yeah, who is Ted? Good question. You too, polar bear. I'm going to go soon, too. I'll take one more question, then I'm going to go... I was going to try and sing, but I don't know if I can now. I could try. Can you hug me? I wish you could right now. Someday, maybe. I hope all of you can hug me someday. Let's get a TED Talk about anorexia and anxiety by Shani, like create a petition. Do it. Go for it. If they asked me, I would do it. Who is Victoria's, Victoria and what is her secret? It's a really good question. I've been wondering. I had a friend named Victoria growing up. She's still my friend. Um, so everyone in school would be like, hey, Victoria, what's your secret? Bye, Gregory. Is there a reason you and Danny have separate rooms? Yes, there are several reasons. I've explained it so many times, but I'll do it real quick, short version, fast version, I mean. Um, number one, 
Our schedules are way different. I'm a night owl. He is not. Uh, number two, he doesn't fit in our bed. He's too long for it. And so he would have to sleep diagonally on our bed to fit. And then that, that would give me like a corner and I'm very large. So I need more than that. Number three, temperature. Um, he likes it to be cold and I need it to be warm. I get freezing cold when I lay down. Um, number four, he farts rancid, like beyond, I can't handle it. Like it's so bad. Um, those are the main reasons. So it just works for us to have separate bedrooms. It works just fine. And we go, we go visit each other and cuddle with each other in each other's beds, but it's just not comfortable to sleep together all night. Yeah, his farts are awful. Like, they're actually make me choke. It's awful. I'm not big. Well, I'm... I, but to have, like, a, quor a quarter of a queen-size bed, I'm too big for that, is what I mean. Is it working? I think everyone probably left. Hi, sorry. Uh, my phone died. My bad. I'm sure no one is here anymore, but that's okay. It's okay because I was done anyway. I need to go rest. I'm going to go watch a movie. Snuggle up and watch a movie. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Sorry my phone died. That's awkward. Um, hopefully this will save. Uh, I hope so. Anyway, um, I had fun hanging out with you guys. It was really fun. I'm back. Sorry, my phone completely died. So I had to wait for it to charge before I could come back on. So, anyway. Thought it was you. No, it's not you at all. No, not at all. Love you, girl. So anyway. Um, but I was done anyway, so it's probably a sign that's like, put down the phone and go rest because you need to. Anyway, um, I'll probably go live again tonight on Instagram. So if you're bored, come join. Um, I have a private account, 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 um, that I go live on a lot, but I think tonight I will go live on my main account, Educating Shani. But if you want to go follow my private one, um, you can. It's Pringle underscore in, can someone type it out? Who wants to type it? Anybody here that can do it? Pringle underscore in underscore my underscore dingle. Um, Pringle in my dingle with underscores in between each word. Um, and that's that, that account is just kind of more for just the internet friends, my internet family, as opposed to educating Shani. Like my whole family can see it, my nieces and nephews. So I don't have to censor myself as much on Pringle. So that's why I started it. So thank you, Cody. There we go. So yeah, so go follow me there. If I accept you, then that means yay. But tonight I'll probably, probably go live on educating Shani, but just in case, go follow it. Um, no, I haven't seen it yet, Tiff. I need to. Maybe we can watch it tonight on the live stream if you're still awake. So I'm guessing I'll go live and I don't know, I'm going to rest and watch a movie. So maybe a couple hours if anyone's still awake by then. So see you on Instagram and thanks for hanging out here. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow on here for another live stream. So I love you guys. Take care. Happy Mother's Day and stay tuned because I'm sure there are tears coming. Yay. Drama. Just kidding. I love you. You're beautiful. You're worth it. And I am too. Love you guys. Bye.